Hello and welcome. I just want to show you how to rig um, pole vector controls on a on a limbs with uh, which are at an angle, so slanted. And we have this model here. If we view our joints, it's hard the model for now. Um, you can see the knee joints, for example, aren't uh, pointing in a straight axis. They are at an angle. And this will make things harder when it comes to rigging the uh, pole vector because we don't we cannot just simply move it in front of the of the knee and expecting that to not shift because of the way this is pointing so to to still be able to put an a uh, control in front of the knee where in a position where it does not shift there are two different ways or at least two different ways that I know about and however before I show you one of those I want to go over a quick uh, uh, tip on how to place your joints in order to, to um, achieve nice joint orientations so if we check the joint orientations on this knee see X is pointing down the chain and Y is pointing up the chain and then he is pointing down because it's, it's bent but uh, this is not the default joint orientation you get when you draw joints like this so let me see let me show you how this looks when I simply draw the chain on top of this other chain move this apart and show the local rotation axis on this one you see they are messed up the pretty random rotations this one is set to world this one's up rotation is pointing upwards, which is logic, but um, this is not going to help us. Um, there is a way to rig this, and uh, to, to rig the pole vector without having to bother on joint orientations, which I'm going to show you too, but it's always good to have clean joint orientations. So here's a way on uh, how to solve this and you do never want to draw joints in perspective uh, directly on top of your model because then you'll get such um, messed up rotations orientations so always go into an orthographic view and draw the chain from there so let's oops no let's just um I'll just draw on top of this something like here and when we view our orientations now they are cleaner you can see disregarding this joint that all of the um, axis z axis are pointing in the same uh, line they are just these two are just uh, sh flipped so we can fix this quickly by unparenting these bones and rotating them on 180 degrees in X and then we can print them back in and if we now grab the root joint and freeze the transformations it'll take care of our rotations just um, add them to the joint orientations so now we can snap this to here and now instead of moving the joints which will um, when auto if doesn't matter if auto orient joints is on or off this won't give us uh, predictable results or it doesn't it won't give us uh, the results that we want so if we have this off you see the orientation doesn't follow at all and if it is on it could be okay on this one but as soon as we go in one on these it'll shift back to where it was before it will flip so let's undo this and Rather than moving the joints, I just rotate the joints and scale them. So I will rotate this joint to about there. Doesn't need to be perfect. Scale it up a little bit. Scale this one down. Rotate this one in Z. Okay, rotate this one in X. You know it's almost um, perfectly placed. I don't want to be too detailed here. I'm just losing time. So let's call this a good. 
go back to the root joint and freeze transformations. It'll also take care of scale. And now that this is uh, done, let's, let's hide our original character and uh, rig the IK. Okay, here's our IK. And if we now go ahead and place a, a control object and just move it forward and uh, applying a pull vector constraint on this, you see the shifting doesn't work like this. It's not that easy. Um, but here's if the orientations are clean, we could just go ahead and parent this to one of the knee joints, zero out the rotations, and move it forward in one of these axes, unparent it, and if we now apply the pole vector, it won't fl it won't flip because it's on the on the clean vector, because um, but if we didn't have uh, we didn't make too clean work with our joint orientations. This control would have moved in another direction, thus giving us flipping again. So here's uh, the other way on how to rig this pole vector without having the need of clean joint orientations. So it starts with the plane, increase the resolution. The resolution increased. I'll tell you later. Now. Um, Put the pivot of this on one of the ends, so let's say about here, and snap it to the first joint in your chain. Now I want to apply a pole vector constraint uh, from the end joint, uh, sorry, I mean an aim constraint from the end joint to the plane. So constraint aim, and I'm going to reset my settings so you have the same as me. And if we can, as we can tell from the plane, it's pointing down the z axis. So we want to use aim vector as the z vector. We want next to use the x vector as the up vector because you see the side of this is pointing down the x axis. So put the one on the x slot. Now, as a word up type, we want to choose object up because we want this uh, object to point in the direction of another object, which is going to be this knee joint. So let's select this, copy its name, and now run the constraint. Maintain offset needs to be off because we want otherwise the plane would not move and this wouldn't help us. So we choose add. And you see now our plane is oriented to the um, to this joint setup. And if we scale this plane up a little bit, we can now place our control anywhere here on this plane on holding V to snap to the vertices and this thing will not flip if we apply the constraint at a pole vector so let's show you this apply pole vector you see there was no flipping and now I'm moving this all over here and there is no flipping at all no moving and as soon as I release the V key and just move this and Z you see how the uh, entire chain starts to flip or just moves along with our pole vector so after having this complete, we can just delete the plane, and everything is uh, to our likings. So yeah, this was a quick way to rig um, limbs with pole vectors that are on an angle. And yeah, but the very important things, this applies to, especially to chains which uh, has, like on this uh, knee chain, has four joints, or two knee joints. If I undo my deleting of the plane. You really need to make sure that they are in such a plane. You see they are all aligned along this plane. This won't work anymore as soon as we have something like this, where one joint is slightly shifted to the other, so this wouldn't work. No uh, pole vector would work like this. So make always sure your chains are in an angle and then everything will work. So that's all. Hope this helped you and see you next time.